Hi, this is Doug Upson for Vegas Pro Insiders Daily, and we are going to talk about college football this Saturday. That's right, another big weekend of college football. We're winding them down. We only really have ne this week and next week with the uh, full schedule, and that's it. Then we move on to the conference championships and to the bowl games. So we're going to talk about we got, uh, today. We got nine free picks. That's right, nine. Nine free picks for you. We're going to talk about three of them specifically, and you can go to the website, the Vegas Pro Insider Daily, uh, dot com website, and read about the rest of them and see if those are of interest to you. Yesterday, we also had a two in one day, so the second day in a row uh, on our free picks. And myself and the VPID members, they went three and one with my selections last night, so that was a very good day. So, uh, and speak, and so along that line, okay, so what does all this mean? Well, Right now, if you uh, Vegas Pro Insider Day members uh, with my selections since late February, if you bet a hundred dollars, you're up over forty five hundred dollars. If you bet two hundred dollars, you're up over nine thousand dollars. And don't have a lot of them, but I do have some really big betters. Okay, and basically a thousand dollars a game, they're up over forty five thousand dollars. Okay, so if you want in the action. Okay, and it, it, one thing you should understand too is that with my prices, thirty nine ninety nine a month for this, how much do you think they're keeping? Okay, not just that they're winning. How much money are they keeping because of the affordability of what a Vegas Pro, uh, Vegas Pro Insider Daily membership actually is, as opposed to paying lots more money? You, instead, you're keeping a lot more money. So, thirty nine ninety nine a month. Sign up now. Okay, lots going on, all kinds of different sports, tons of stuff for you. Become a member today. Let's talk about some of the new line moves that have occurred, and one of them is the uh, UL Monroe is at Arkansas State. That's a big game in the Sun Belt West. Uh, UL Monroe with a victory pretty much sets themselves up, but where the action is, to, to win that division, by the way, uh, but where the action is on the total. Total's gone is up four points. I mean, that's a that's a big move from 64 and a half all the way up to 68 and a half. Now these teams are five and one over in their most recent meetings, including last year's game, which was 67 to 50, <laughs> with a total with, that total was 70. Now in the, in the last month, both these teams have played better defense, but still scoring a lot of points. But the one thing you got to go with the facts here, and when the total is 63 and a half to 70. In a game involving two, let's just call it statistically average teams at, uh, with seven or more games into the season, the over is 46 and 16. So guess what we're going to do? We're going to play over on that one. Miami of Florida is at Virginia Tech. Um, that game, it's an interesting one. Uh, you know, Virginia Tech... Their talent level is really down, especially down since the Frank Beamer heydays. Okay, so this team, the only thing this team has in common with those teams is basically they still wear the same uniforms, at least by school color. Okay, so that's about the only thing they have in common. Hokies have lost three straight, had a ton of injuries. They've lost four out of five also, and they haven't covered any of those five games recently. So they're in a world of hurt, not much talent, a lot of injuries, guys that are on the field probably shouldn't be on the field, should only be on the practice squad. That's why they've gone, why Virginia Tech has gone from plus three to plus five and a half against Miami. But Miami, come on. Are you kidding me? Hold on here. Wait a second. The, the Hurricanes, they've lost four in a row. They haven't covered in five games also. So are you excited about them? Well, you know what? The textures are hardly a play. That's for sure. But you really want to put your cash on the Canes? You know what I'd suggest? Take Miami, get the rosary out, and pray like hell that you win. That's what I would suggest to you. All right, last up, Iowa State and Texas. All right? Now, now what the heck is going on here? Iowa State and Texas. A consequential game of two top 20 teams on the Longhorn Network? Really? Yeah, it's true. These two teams... Whoever wins this game remains in the hunt to possibly uh, play for the uh, Pac-12 championship or get invited to the Pac-12 championship game. Loser's out. Winner still has a shot. In this one, though, you need to bring – there's a letter and some uh, chain link fence for this one because by the total, going from f uh, 51 down to 47, we're talking 
defense. Defense. Now, Iowa State star David Montgomery, he will not play the first half because he decided to get in a fight last week, so he's suspended for the first half of this game. So he'll play in the second half. Both teams have, uh, have done well against average offenses, and in this case, both of these teams are average offenses. And then you break down the numbers, okay? It's the way it just stacks up. These teams, uh, four and two under in their last six. It, at, in Austin, five and one under. That's where the game's going to be played. Plus, both teams have a laundry list of tendencies that favor a lowing score, which includes Texas being 6-0 under at home after scoring 37 or more points. Guess which way we're going to go? We're going to go under. Here's the crazy part, though. 86% of tickets written are on the over. Ooh, that's sort of interesting. So, hey, go check out the rest of the free plays. We've got six more free plays for you. Plus, i got tips on where the uh, betters are. Uh, in terms of sides and totals, the top five uh, by percentages. You can check those all out. I'll be back tomorrow to talk some NFL. So this is your old pal. I keep saying that, don't I? This is Doug Upstone for Vegas Pro Insiders Daily. I'm out.